The thing with this one, and when, you, when we start to look at finding the greatest common factor, if you're having a hard time spotting it, then it helps to have a procedure to fall back on. And that's why I kind of want to go through with these two numbers. What we're going to do is we're going to do the prime factorization of each of them. So let's take 12 and look at the prime factorization. 12 would be what two numbers? Two times six. What? Two times six. Two times six, all right. If it's an even number, you can always start off with two. And six, we know, is two times three. So the prime factorization of 12 is two squared times three. Now let's see, 32. What is it? Eight times four, all right. You could do four times eight, doesn't really matter. Let's see, four, that one I know is two times two. Let's come over to eight. Eight is four times two. And four, we just said, was two times two. So when I look at all the ones that make up 32, I'm left with, uh, let's see, there are one, two, three, four, five twos. So two to the fifth. Now, I'm not adding or subtracting here. I'm just putting them, I'm organizing them. I'm lining them up so I can look down to see what the common factors are. Or the whole idea of the greatest common factor is what do they have in common? They both have not just one two, but two twos, right? So two squared. So when I look down the line here, there, there we go. Look down my twos, I can say, well, they have in common two squared. Uh, if I look down the threes, there's only the three and the 12. There's no three and 32. So it looks like my greatest common factor is four. Okay. I didn't do any operation. All I did was just look to see what they have in common, and they're organized by term, by factor, to see what they have in common. Now, another way to look at this. Because when I look for the, and let me write it one more time before I answer that and see if this helps. 12 is 2 times 2 times 3, right? 32 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 twos, right? So now I look to see what's the common factor between them. What numbers do they both have in common? And when I do that, the common factors between them, get my color here. Let's see, there's this two here. So these guys are common. These twos are common. So that means my common factor must be 2 squared, which is 4. The reason that we have to work with the exponents, we don't have to. The reason it's good to have it to be in is as we move through today, we're going to change this up and take away having it all be numbers. We're going to throw some variables in there. So we have to be comfortable saying the smallest exponent decides what they have in common. So 2 to 4 is a GCF? 4 is a GCF. Not 2 to the 4, just 4. 